Oh, just bring back my win condition with Revival Blessing? A mock punch? Oh my gosh, don't mind if I do. Lady and Gentle Mux, here we go. All right, great toss, but here's the thing. No more Chiyu, no problem. I got my Hydreigon as my Chiyu replacer. If you've watched this, you know I like to go Terra Blast straight into the Fairy, and they always say it, and it's crazy. This is actually like, I mean, I don't want to like, it's higher up-ish. I mean, like in the high 1500s right now. I've been managed to do a pretty good run with this team. I think this team is like borderline optimal. Not going to lie. Pretty, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So the Clouds Eye, unfortunately, we're going to have to switch out because even if we Nasty Plot, we could actually just drop Dracos after Dracos, which is actually kind of um, a decent move. But I think that we're, we're still looking pretty good here. We can switch out. We do a double switch move here. Corviknight, um, what I love about Goldango is we can just go ahead for the trick. And even if they stay in, they can either... Goldango is just so... Oh my gosh. I mean, this, this Mon is just so absolutely insane. It blocks Spore, it blocks Defog, it blocks everything. You can trick their walls. You can go for Make It Rain on their uh, attackers, and it's just so crazy. I'm going to go for Hydreigon here, and they're going to go for Garganical. I think it's actually okay. I think what I'm going to do, uh, we could just go for the Dark Pulse, but they like to go into Fairy, which is kind of annoying. So I think we'll just Nasty Plot. Let's go for Nasty Plot, and then I mean, they're going to like Salt Cure. There's the Salt Cure. It's not going to do anything too crazy here. So I think we can probably just drop the Draco. They do go, no, they just go into Clouds Eye. It kind of sucks because we lose our stats here, but, and then they, it doesn't, we don't get any benefit from it. And then, like I said, I usually do like to just drop Draco after Draco on the Clouds Eye because the Unaware actually helps us in this case. But because we have that Salt Cure, we're going to have to get rid of it. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to make the switch here. And I think we're going to get a little bit of cute here because I think they're going to try and go for Stealth Rock. And we are not running Heavy Duty Boots on Volcarona. So, I, f oh, they just run Spikes instead of Stealth Rock. Okay, well, I'm going to go for Quiver Dance here. Um, they are locked in, obviously, so they do have to do that. So this kind of sucks. Uh, we did waste our Terrasilize on the Hydreigon spill. So if we didn't, if we didn't, we could actually potentially just win here with the with the Giga Drain here. I'm still gonna go for the damage here. I'm sure they're gonna salt um, salt cure. It does two percent, and that's gonna kill us with a, a passive damage there. So Volcarona is just gonna take an early L on this one. Sucks because you really love to see that uh, Quiver Dance into the Giga Drain um, grass nonsense, but it is what it is. I think at this point, um, we need it. So that, that spike's actually a huge problem. The spike is a huge problem because we need to get rid of that. So the Palmot has that Focus Sash. And that is so vital. And that is why Great Tusk is going to be a huge help here. All right, so the Claude Zyre here. We're just going to go straight for damage here. So the Claude Zyre, if they want to get stuck in some sort of gross, um, you know, recovery loop and just be trick, uh, tricked into that, that's fine with me. I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball. Let's see what they do here. Go for Earthquake, it's obviously not going to kill, which is completely fine with me. And we get some leftover um, uh, leftover recovery here, which is completely fine. I'm going to go into Hydreigon. If they're locked into Earthquake, I think that they are just probably going for Earthquake. I think we can do this. Boom, that is awesome. Now, now look at this. Now I think we're good to get uh, some free damage off here. I think we're good. I think we are. So let's go for Terra Blast. I mean, we're going to kill the Clouds Iron no matter what. They're just they're just a sitting duck. Uh, I guess you could call that thing a duck. Yeah. So I think they're going to go for a Garganical. Yeah, that's fine. This is why I go for Terra Blast over Dark Pulse or Draco, because I know this Garganical is Fairy type. And now we can just double click a Fairy Blast, or not Fairy Blast, Terra Blast. I guess it sort of is a Fairy Blast, isn't it? So we're going to go ahead and kill them, and that is going to be that. And now we're sitting okay here. Mm, I think they're just going to go for a yeah, Ching Pao, and then they're just going to go and, and kill us really quick. This becomes kind of... Actually, I kind of like this. We're going to sacrifice the Hydreigon. Obviously, I mean, if they go for Swords Dance or something weird, we, we could always just punish them. That's pretty much game. So they go for the Icicle Crash, which is actually kind of risky, considering the Icicle Crash can miss. So, I mean, they, they take a huge risk there. Not a huge risk, but you get the point. That, that could be potentially bad. We go for the Palmot. We can go for Palmot, but the problem is we have that Spike out, and I would rather just go for Great Tusk so that we can use Rapid Spin, but they do have this Dragapult. You see that Dragapult there? I don't like Ghosts with my Great Tusk, that's the problem. And if you've been watching the channel, you know that I take my Great Tusk and I always put the Protosynthesis Booster Energy on the speed, because the speed is much more important than the attack almost 99% of the time. Just what I found, just my opinion. I'm gonna go for Headlong Rush, because I think they're gonna go, oh, and they go for a Corviknight, oh wow. Okay, that is, I did not expect that. I thought for sure it was gonna be Dragapult or stay in. Okay, well, let's go for Rapid Spin here. If we take the Rocky Helmet damage, I think we're gonna be okay here. So we're going to at least get rid of the spike. Getting rid of the spike is so huge. I don't know why they're taunting. We don't, I mean, I guess we could be running the, uh, the bulk up, uh, body press set, but I am not, unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, 
So at least we get rid of that spike. I want to get. I, I want to just keep my palm out nice and healthy so we can have a sash mock punch nuzzle i mean oh my god i cannot wait to get into the palma absolutely awesome so let's go for close combat here let's wither them down a little bit and they go for taunt i don't know why they're going for taunt it's a little bit strange to me but it is what it is i uh gosh i i do we want to go into no not yet i think we can go for galdango i don't really want to get u-turned i think u-turns pretty gosh darn bad and they are just going to go for roost and i actually do prefer i prefer that because now we i love packing the thunderbolt just for the corviknight like thunderbolt is literally a move i'm running just for one mon and it's just for corviknight and uh and even dundonzo so i'm i'm a big fan. i don't like focus blast on galdango um is it galdango or galdango i don't i really don't know but either way we love him all right so crunch crunch me captain we're out of there so i think now we can go for palmont and here's the question because we're obviously going for the revival blessing but do we want to get greedy and go for the mock punch right away there's a good chance that they're not they're not even like aware if we bring back the goldango no more scarf so that is something we have to take into account this is hard because i don't uh, if they mock punch and they go into if they switch into either mon that they have we feel really dumb but if we get a, if we just get a kill here with the mock punch i mean they might not even be like expecting it I think the upside's really high here, and we know that they're not running. We know that they're not running Rocky Helmet, so I think we're gonna do it. We get it. They stay in. We get it. That was so good. Okay, because we they are not running a Rocky Helmet, so we're gonna be okay with that. So even if we get hit by like a Draco Shadow Ball, whatever it is, we have a we have a Sash. So I'm gonna go for a Nuzzle here, and they give us the burn. I actually don't mind that much. We kill. Look at this. This is beautiful. Now look at this. Revival Blessing on the Hydreigon, and I think the Hydreigon is just now a win condition because now the Hydreigon ha can, can just Dark Pulse, and I think we just pretty much win, right? We, we can just, we're faster than the Dragapult with the Paralysis. We're going to kill the Corviknight, and I think we're looking pretty good here. So let's go for the Great great Tusk here. The Great Tusk can honestly just die, doesn't really matter. And we're going to go, I, I don't, I, ugh, maybe I should have, no, I think it's fine. It's whatever, it's not a big deal. All right, let's go for close combat here. Hopefully they just kill us. I don't think they're going to... They could bulk up. If they bulk up, that's actually kind of scary. But they don't, which is good. All right, 63%. And I'm actually kind of tempting because Palma is burnt. And, like, the damage the damage aspect of Palma is done. The Revival Blessing aspect is done. I think at this point we're just looking for a Nuzzle or a Double Shock. I think they probably stay in. If they don't, we can just kind of Nuzzle again. They're not, And then we can just go for the Hydreigon um from there and i think we're gonna be fine so i think that's gonna be the move here we're gonna do the nuzzle i don't know maybe that was the wrong move i mean i think it's fine they're just gonna they just want to do this like the roost nonsense so i think it's fine and palma i'm just gonna use the double shock we are gonna die to the burn damage no matter what happens anyway so we get a critical hit and only do half and they're probably gonna roost up and actually bulk up okay that's no big deal that's actually preferable they are running bulk up it doesn't matter we got high dragon with i mean dark pulse should just kill but even if they don't we've got flinch and we've got paralysis, so they probably don't even attack anyway. Down to one percent, and that is a oh break bro. Okay, so they do attack, but they, they they lose it to the recoil damage. Oh my gosh! And then the ditto. No way. Oh my god! And they're, they're they are uh, paralyzed. Ditto's gonna take it. Are they running shadow ball? They are running hex. Oh my god! They're running hex, and they are paralyzed. No way! What an epic match. Curtains. Okay, the Chi Yu replacement is here, baby. I'm feeling the Hydreigon. My favorite Pokemon of all time. You'll love to see it. Terrasilize, Terra Blast. Let's go. And we they're gonna stay in. Of course they're gonna stay in. And we are just a force to be reckoned with. We don't care about Chi Yu. And I see this at Balloon. So I know that you can't be faster than me. We are full speed EVs. Dark Pulse takes it out. We are down two mons early. Hydreigon putting in the work. Who the heck is Chi Yu? We don't know. That's curtains, baby. Let's go. I'm still reeling over that last match. That was absolutely insane. You gotta love it. All right, so Dragonite. Um, do we go for Terrasilize early? They usually. I don't think they're gonna go for anything. I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse for the flinch upside. I don't think we're gonna Terrasilize because we are running Volcarona, and sometimes we don't want to like give away our secret too early. So we go Iron Valiant. That's fine. I think we're just gonna do it now. They can't really touch us. If they go for Moonblast, it doesn't kill. If they go for Close Combat or something, it doesn't kill. Yeah, we're good. And then we just use Terra Blast. Boom, there we go. Calm Mind does not matter. Hydreigon, boom, for the win. You gotta love it. The Chi Yu replacement, everybody. I'm telling you, it's so good. Glamora. Okay, I think we're just gonna Dark Pulse. I think we should be faster. Plus, we again, we might get that... Um, we might get that Flinch upside. And I don't think they can... I mean, they, they might poison us. 
I'm not buying it. A lot of times they just go for like um um okay. I'm a little nervous about Sludge Wave, and they don't. Nah, I feel so stupid. I feel so gosh darn dumb. So they are. They're running Earth Power, Mortal Spin. Yeah. So we could have been fine just staying in and fighting. It is what it is, though. I guess we're gonna go for the Earth Power. It's just kind of smooth. They, they stay in. Ah, Sash is super annoying, but it is what it is. And they go for Earth Power, and that kills us. But now, now I guess we can just go for Hydreigon, right? Er, well, yeah. I, th I think we could go for this. I don't see because I don't see a ghost. If I saw like a Dragapult or a Goldango, I definitely would be not doing this because we can just get a Rapid Spin here. This is just wonderful. We can get we can kill the Glamora, get rid of their Toxic Debris, get rid of the Stealth Rock. I would probably go into Hydreigon if I saw a Ghost type, but we don't, so this is fine. So we'll just go for straight for Great Tusk here, and let's see what we can do. All right, um, how do we want to play this? I think we just go back into Hydreigon. Why not? Liquidation. Oh, because we're not Dragon, we don't resist that, so it does do a little bit more than I'd like it to. But at this point. At this point, I think we can just drop Dracos on this thing, right? Because, again, the Unaware helps us. And this is why I love this. This is so good. And this is actually... Hydreigon is better than Chi Yu in this spot because the Overheat is resisted by Dondonzo. The Draco Meteor is not. Okay, I just lied. I just lied through my teeth. The Fairy-type takes away our Draco Meteor, so we would rather have an Overheat. That's okay. That's okay. Let's, go, let's get our damage off that we can. We go for Terra Blast here. The Liquidation is going to kill because we don't resist that anymore. So the double fairy terrestrialization ends up being really annoying. I guess, what do we do from here? I guess we could probably go for Goldango here, and then I think we can probably... Oh boy, should we just trick it or we just go straight for the Thunderbolt? Oh, we can... Oh, okay. Okay, I'm just clicking buttons here. Okay, so we're gonna go... I forgot they were... Um... Let's see, so they were the fairy move. I'm trying to get ahead of myself here. So I, they were fairy terrestrialized. So that's why I went for make it rain instead of the thunderbolt here, obviously. And then we do this. I'm a little scared of headlong. No, just a knockoff. Just a knockoff. So we lose our scarf, but I think we we might still be faster. I don't know. We actually are, and they're not running booster energy. So they're not running scarf or energy. Like what are they running on here? Assault vest or something? It's a little bit weird to me, but either way, even with our absurdly, absurdly low special attack, I'm just going to sit here and go for make it rain here. And again, that ice crash crashing. You got to be careful because that thing's going to miss here eventually. Okay, so Chin Pao. I think we probably go for our Palma here. I think we, again, we know that the Mach Punch is good against it, so that is always awesome. And I think we could probably go for Revival Blessing on something else. And they actually don't, they actually don't want the smoke. They don't want the smoke, which is really surprising. That is really surprising. I should we should we go for Ditto? I think Ditto might come in handy versus the Dragon Knight in case they get some crazy dragon dances going. So that is really interesting. I'm gonna go for Nuzzle. I know we're faster. They are sashed. They have no priority moves. So I, I think we're just good to Nuzzle here. I don't want to. I don't want to give away my Mach Punch. If I give away the Mach Punch, then they they know that the Ching Pao is no good. So I think we use the Nuzzle because it only it only has one. 1% life, so we're good there. I don't want to give away my Mach Punch here. So here's the Dragonite. I think, okay, this is great. Nuzzle does the same thing. Nuzzle's going to give it Paralysis and it's going to break that multi-scale and we have a Ditto in case they do get cute here. So we are, we're in beautiful position here. We're gonna go for the Double Shock, just get some damage off Dragon Dance. I'm gonna be kind of annoyed if they have the Roost set. If they have Roost, I'm gonna be really annoyed. So I think we might just have to keep like Nuzzling as gross as that is. Um, uh, I think we'll go for Great Tusk. I don't, I'm, I, it's a really awkward spot here. They do, we do get the Paralysis on one of these, which is really nice. And I think I'm going to go for Stone Edge. And Extreme Speed is just not going to do much. Great Tusk is so bulky. Wow, is it bulky. So we don't even need the Ditto to copycat it. So that's really nice. Uh, Chin Pao, at this point, Great Tusk is pretty much done. It does nothing against Dundonzo. Absolutely nothing. So I think we're just good to just kind of sack old Great Tusk here. Uh, we can just go for Rapids, but it doesn't matter. That Ice Field Crash is going to miss one of these days. I assure you it's going to miss one of these days. Um, I, I don't love this, but it's fine. I think we should just go for Palmot, and I think we're just going to go for Mach Punch here. If they don't, then we can just go for Double Shock, and boom, there it is. No Focus Sesh on the Chin Pao. They have the Dundonzo left, and that's it. Curtains, baby.